All right, so in order to fix this problem with the uh, property value going below one or above three, we're going to add another two sensors. Um, the first one is uh, going to be a property, and what we're going to make sure is if the property value is equal to zero, Then, what we do is we connect it to property, and we're going to assign property menu a value back to one if the value goes to zero. Now we're going to do the same thing for anything above three. We're going to add a property, and if the property of menu is equal to four, we're going to immediately assign a value to menu of three. So what these nodes do, these two property nodes right here, is they say if the property value of menu is less than one or more than three, uh, or say zero and four, set zero to one immediately, or set 4 to 3 immediately. So if we go back over here to our Blender file and we reopen the Blender file of our menu and we play it now I'm hitting up and it will the, the wrench continues to spin I'm hitting up and the wrench continues to spin. It will not go less than one. And if I go down, then I keep going down past the exit, the value will not go above three. So we have now solved that problem. Now what I'd like to do is actually create some actuators that will bring us to say the gaming scene, the credit scene, or exit us out of the game. Finish this up. Now skipping ahead here, what I've done is I've set all of the the logic nodes up and I have added a keyboard sensor uh, as well as th uh, three proper or two property three property sensors, I'm sorry. Uh, one for uh, menu equal to one menu equal to 2 and menu equal to 3 and what these do is they uh, basically check to see if the value is equal to 1, 2, or 3 and I have these anded in the logic blocks up here and what the controllers do, these, these controller logic blocks is they say if you hit the space bar on the keyboard and the property value is equal to one then start a new game and property menu if you hit a space bar and the menu is the property me menu value is equal to two the s set scene uh, actuator will go to the credits scene now we haven't made the credits scene yet however what it will link to the credits scene once it is made and for a uh, menu value of three, if the space bar is hit and the menu value is three, it will quit the game, uh, thus exit. So now what we have to do is create a credit scene. And I've gone ahead and I've done that. And it's a, a fairly basic scene. I UV mapped a different image onto it and it says credits. Um, and what I also did was I added a short timeline here uh, it says video by BBC and I have it spinning in 360 degrees so this way when the scene uh, is actuated by the actuator from the main menu uh, this will go into a 360 degree rotation stop and then if you notice underneath it it says hit backspace to return to menu now if I go into the uh, logic here, if I go into the logic within 
this scene, I, if, if you can notice, I have set uh, two sensors up. Uh, one that says always, and another one that says keyboard. And the always is connected to the rotation of the video by BBC. And I have that set to start it at frame 1, end at frame 40, and only play once. And then the keyboard uh, sensor is uh, linked to a set scene actuator and that scene is a uh, menu. It goes straight back to menu once the backspace is hit on the keyboard. Uh, so this is a really simple way to set up a cause and effect uh, with inputs and outputs. Now uh, I would like to mention that uh, there are tons of different things you can do with these sensors, controllers, and actuators. You can even uh, use your own Python script within these. You can actuate a script uh, once a, uh, a sensor senses something. And uh, as I mentioned before, the sensors consist of all these different things, actuators, joysticks, um, property values, uh, collision, so it has you know a lot to do with the physics of the actual game engine, or you can use them as input output logic blocks, and that's basically what I'm doing to create a simple game menu. Uh, now that we have all this set up, we can go over to the uh, finished product, and if I hit play, we start off here at our main menu, and we can go up to get started, we can go down to credits, exit, and we no longer have the problem of going over three or less than one. Now if I go down to credits and I hit the space bar, it brings me to the credits window and the video by BBC is rotating correctly as I want it to. Uh, now let's hope if when I hit backspace that it returns to the menu. And it does. So we have completed a very basic uh, menu that jumps between scenes. Um, if uh, I go to exit, hit spacebar, it exits out. Uh, if there was a game, I had it connected to my gaming scene, it would actually start the game. So that's a, a fairly basic way to create an effective uh, menu that has uh, some form of uh, you know response to the user so they know what they're selecting and it also creates a, a much more uh, lively environment there's it's not too bland and uh, I think it works pretty well